a while ago, Ubisoft has announced Assassin's Creed, the new Assassin's Creed game, will be featuring a black samurai. The game started getting a bunch of hate for it. But now, the game is getting so much hate that even the people across the world are pissed off. We are mad. Let me move my logo. My bad. We are mad. Japanese speaks up racism in the shadows. Let's see what is happening and why people across the world are mad at Ubisoft. I'm uh, pretty pissed. And I really can't believe this is happening. And I really can't believe people don't see this things. You know, I've been a fan what is it? of Assassin's Creed. I really loved Assassin's Creed 2. And Assassin's Creed Origin is one of my Little best button. video games I ever played. It's amazing. And I was dreaming one day Ubisoft make Assassin's Creed set in Japan. Because mm -hmm. Ninja is amazing subject for Assassin's Creed. 100%. Ninja is assassin. I think everybody knows that though. Like Ninja would be the assassin. Uh, I would assume that assassins would eventually turn into like ninjas. And it'd be like... It'd be like... Uh, I don't know what they're called. The League of Shadows and like Batman. Like we're talking like that kind of ninjas. You know what I mean? Uh, Ubisoft, they It'd be great. Intense this research, or even mm -hmm. they hire some Japanese team, like a lot of Japanese group of people. That would make sense. Them, to a um, historical accuracy, it's a mm -hmm. responsibility. You know, it's you gotta do. You have to. Yeah. They would do, but really, so Ubisoft announced. They want Assassin's this guy instead. Assassin Creed Shadow, set in J Japan. <laughs> it's not Japan, mm -hmm. um, and the main character is not Japanese. But wait, I need to mention. I need to mention. We Japanese are not angry about non-Japanese main character. Okay, we are not. We are not God damn it! We are not angry about a non-Japanese main character. Okay. The, the idea of we are not angry about LGBTQ characters. Okay. Bringing LGBTQ to the video game. I think okay. we are more welcome that. We want to see more like a diversity, the real diversity, okay? You mm -hmm. what you're doing is. It mean like natural. I would rather natural diversity over forced diversity. That's what I would rather. And if you just, you just make the game and the diversity comes out naturally. That's, you don't have to force it. I think if you force diversity, you've already failed at trying to apply diversity. But that's just me. Is the fake. Hypocritical diversity, okay? Yeah. And what you're doing, Ubisoft, in your new racist video game called Assassin's Creed Shadow, mm -hmm. is just... You think it'd be a ninja. Arrogant. Arrogant. I okay. Don't know where to start? We are mad about your arrogance. And you keep saying... One side of historical frap and just cigar for Japan. Okay. Like following the kind of stuff. That's... Shut up, <laughs> really. <laughs> and it was not matter about your response, okay? Japanese started raising voice about, oh my, oh my god, Japanese is really kind. We mm -hmm. used to be chill sometimes, which is- I'm pretty sure they're the nicest people in the world. I'm pretty sure. It's very bad, actually, but we were chill. But this, you crossed the line. Let's watch this, one of most ridiculous arrogance Hypocritical with our own story. I ever seen. You filled in the gaps. What the? F that doesn't even make sense. Let me show you what it says. We filled in the gaps for Japan history with your own story. So what you're saying is you took the historical culture of a game you've based in Japan, quote unquote, and you were like, "Fuck this. Let's just put in our own shit." That's uh, you've already failed. <laughs> what are you doing? Woo! <laughs> I gotta not pause the video so much. Let's see. Historical fiction. Um, so what? Historical fiction? What? Historical fiction. What the? In what we know uh, of the history. You don't know anything. Uh, and then I think that kind of like uh, as a palette, uh, where the then the story that that we write uh, based on on these events and what is known and needs to fit within that palette. So we can bring, uh, stuff from outside. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. They using historical paint. So main character historical paint. Yasuke. There's a no any evidence that Yasuke was a samurai. There's a no paint. Okay. Saying 
Yasuke, it was samurai. And also, go, let's go to Wikipedia. Okay. I don't, listen, I, I would not use Wikipedia as a source. However, this man is from Japan, so he would know. So It's, it's so wrong. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, again, I would not use a source from Wikipedia. Wikipedia, anyone can edit it. Anyone can add bullshit. Wikipedia is the number one thing that you don't use ever. Period. And I was taught that in like grade six because I used it. And they were like, what are you doing? <laughs> My teacher was like, hey, don't use Wikipedia. It's stupid. Let's go to Japanese. Yes, sir. Okay. It's Japanese history. Okay. Mm -hmm. Trust the Japanese one. Japanese Wikipedia. There's a okay, I trust. Okay, you want me to? I will. Samurai. And uh, there's no evidence. The, where's the source? Where's this under discussion? Under discussion. Just please someone delete this. Okay. Wait, I have to go back. I missed I missed some context. Yasuke, go to Wikipedia. Okay. okay. This is so wrong. Yasuke was a man of African origin who served as samurai. Let's go to a Japanese one, okay? It's Japanese history, okay? Okay. Trust the Japanese one, Japanese Wikipedia. There's a okay. no single word saying samurai. And uh, there's no evidence. The, where's the source? Oh, this? so they just they just wrote another Japanese Wikipedia and they were like, hey, look at this. And obviously nobody checked it before linking it under the... <laughs> okay. Under discussion. Under discussion. Just please someone delete this. Okay, look. So they made so they made a Wikipedia just to try and shut up the people looking at Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, back to my original point. Never use Wikipedia as a credible source because Wikipedia is bullshit. Look. So this is ever percent <laughs> wrong. Sub the samurai. No. Mm -hmm. No. In fact, in fact. Okay, Hono Jin student. Do you know samurai after they're defeated, they commit seppuku, which is harakiri. Meaning, they unlike themselves, showing yeah. honor and the pride. That's one of the most important things as a samurai. Okay, and yes, that's, so that's a samurai Yasuke tradition. Was working for Oda Nobunaga, this guy. This is okay. true according to the evidence. And uh, when Nobunaga was defeated, Nobunaga committed harakiri because samurai show their pride and honor. They unalive themselves rather than they get killed by others. You know, that's a samurai. So Yasuke, when Nobunaga was defeated, Yasuke didn't do Harakiri. Oh, also. so was it like they're mid-battle and instead of the enemy killing them, they just do it themselves? I... Yasuke escaped. I don't know anything about samurai. I'm just going to shut up and listen. So Kori, <laughs> Yasuke is really, really disrespecting other samurai at a time who commit Harakiri, you know? And okay. then, who are you? <laughs> Do you know anything about Japanese culture? Oh, I guarantee you that person has no fucking idea what they're talking about. Really? I guarantee you. And what we, uh, the, the writing team has imagined uh, based on uh, these uh, historical figures and events. Uh, all right, all right. If that's so, stop saying historical fiction. It's fantasy. Okay. Yeah, it's historical. Yeah, historical fiction is just another word for fantasy. Like you either have it's fiction or non-fiction. Do you want to use history? Do you want to use proper history to fulfill your game story, or you just want to put in some BS? I'm pretty sure if you just said, "Hey, we just put in some BS. We added a black dude just for cultural appropriation reasons, whatever the fuck else," nobody would care. I guarantee you, if the game released, nobody would care. You know, if it, as long as it was good. Final Fantasy. If they say yeah. if this is fantasy, 100% like inaccurate, historically incorrect, we don't get mad. We are not very okay, but we don't get mad. Uh, yeah, it's no point. Uh, yeah. We've learned about working. I feel like there, there wouldn't be a point to it. And, and uh, historians and consultants. Who, what kind of historians, historian and consultants they hired? So, uh... Stop. This is Suzuki, the plants. They're gonna be like this in like uh, September and then uh, October, okay? And this is a Sakura, which is April. It, <laughs> oh, so so they didn't even put the plants in right. <laughs> and the okay. They didn't even put the plants in right. Season difference, which is very important in Japan. What yeah. kind of history on our day? You couldn't even put the plants in right. That's not right, bro. This is so arrogant. If the note, 
don't do it. Oh, okay, never mind. I mean, if Japanese are doing that things... Or our own history. They're responsible like, for their own history. That's like, what it like says. Happened, like I'm blocking fiction. part of it. It's fun. And it has a respect. I don't mm -hmm. see... I don't find any respect for Japanese culture. And also, their response is really horrible. Oh, hell yeah. So they know. interview for Famitsu from Ubisoft. They're... With Yasuki... I was first looking at it for a character who could be seen by us as a samurai, someone who is not Japanese. His part was quietly corrected, which may have been the cause of the outrage around the world. What this translation's accurate? Was this translation accurate? It was, okay. They're speaking about why they decided to use Yasuke Samurai as the main character. They're saying, we are first looking for someone. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna just let the oh, video play. <laughs> In other words, someone who could become our eyes despite not being Japanese. That doesn't make any sense, though. Really? Yeah, what the fuck? They say that. And after that part... I guarantee you some white dumb bitch, too. In X, they delete it. Yep. But, okay, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say that again. This is racist as... We are first looking for someone who could be our samurai. In other words... Someone who could become our eyes, despite not being Japanese. Or white. So they wanted, I guarantee you, it's some fucking liberal bullshit, woke shit. I guarantee you, they're like, hey, let's make a samurai, but we can't make it a cis male because fuck that. We have to make it some like black dude for culture appropriation. That, I mean, I guarantee you that probably happened. And if it didn't happen, well, it did because there he is. <laughs> <laughs> if you believe racism is bad things, mm -hmm. and then if you don't see racism in this video game and this Ubisoft interview and their response, mm -hmm. you are racist. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the most racist people are the ones usually around this whole woke shit, adding uh, cultural appropriation while also somehow not realizing that they themselves are somehow racist, not somehow are racist. Most of the time you can see that a lot on Twitter. Now, I mean, there's, there's both sides of racism, whatever else, but I mean, most of the time you see a woke person nine, nine times out of 10, whatever comes out of their mouth during some kind of explanation or during some kind of debate is going to be some racist dumb shit. And it's like, why are you saying that? <laughs> and it, I think it's been proven enough <laughs> with other games, other people saying stupid shit. And then, and Ubisoft CEO, and is saying, why does split backlash against Assassin's Creed Shadows, calling it malicious and hateful? Uh oh. Saying, Japanese, you shut up, racist. <laughs> so arrogant. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is really happening. I know. I, imagine making a Japanese cultured game while also disrespecting the Japanese culture. I mean, I think that in itself is racist. No. <laughs> really. Okay. <laughs> Japanese culture and history, mm -hmm. and they made a video game, and the Japanese people are not happy about it. I would imagine. They yeah. Hi, yeah. That you should. Is that what we are saying is. Malicious and hateful. Mm -hmm. And here, here, saying extensive controversy due to its protagonist, African samurai Yasuke and a female Japanese snobby now. They're calling us as if like we are racist and sexist. That's not that's exactly that's exactly their counter arguments too, whenever that happens. It's like, nah, we're not racist, you're racist because you don't agree with me and I'm right. So you must be right. It's like, no, what you said was racist. Stop being a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, don't use the idea of black as a shield. Yeah. I'm gonna translate yeah. some of the comments. The Japanese voice. Okay. On the Assassin's Creed trailer. None of them are talking about. <laughs> no I like reading comments about against tours to African samurai or female shinobi. Yeah. So uh, no, uh, no one is pissed that the character is black, which I thought personally Japanese would be mad about. But no, they don't care about that. None of them. They care about the secret hidden message behind of behind the I guess creation. Okay. The creation of it or whatever else we're talking about. When they released 
Japanese limited trailer mm -hmm. they released. I'm surprised that they don't even care about the LGBTQ stuff because I thought for sure they would. I guess it's only China that cares about it. I don't know. Saying this is for only Japanese. Japanese limited trailer to Japan. Oh, so they released a trailer specifically for Japanese. Okay. They are putting Chinese subtitle. Can you believe it? Oh my God. What? Even, even I know that Japan and China are not the same fucking thing. What are you doing? Oh my God. Well, I'm, I'm apparently more cultural, cultural appropriate than the fucking Ubisoft devs trying to be culture, culturally, uh, <laughs> Even I know Japanese and Chinese are not the same. <laughs> I'd make a joke, but I can't because it's a little racist. <laughs> okay, this one. Ubi is a racist company that discriminates against Japanese people. Okay. Obviously. So this, at Ubi, Jap I would like, I would like him to like, I guess Google Translate is probably a bad thing to use. I would like him to like copy paste it into Google Translator just to see what happens. And if like, if what he says is accurate to what's on the screen, that would be even more helpful. Because I guarantee you, someone's just going to be like, hey, you didn't translate it with the Google Translator. How do I know that what you're saying is accurate? I believe this, dude. I, I see no reason why not to. They have. Aren't even a low two point. But somebody's going to say it. <laughs> True. Shit, I missed it. Uh, Japanese staff aren't even allowed to point out mistakes. Oh. A low two you can't even point out mistakes at Ubisoft. My point God. Out <laughs> True. True. Right, so <laughs> I see this a lot, actually. 100% true. Asians to, Asian to elevate to black people is wrong. Is wrong. I 100% agree. 100% agree. agree, yeah. This is the things. When people talk about racism, mm -hmm. it's all about black and white. There's no Asians. It's so hypocritical. True. I like this comment. It's a such accomplishment to anger the usually tolerant Japanese people when it comes to freedom of expression. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. true no ni Nihon wa fukumarete inai yora. What? Not only in Japan, it's Asia, actually. Oh. It's saying, it seems that Japan is not included in the concept of diversity. At risk this for French company, yes. <laughs> what are we laughing at? <laughs> I'm gonna show that clip later, but this is so funny. <laughs> okay, he found a clip, I guess. It's so I'm angry, but this comment is so funny. Okay, Why do we have to be killed in the rhythm of the rap? <laughs> <laughs> That's true, they. In the trailer, they put a fucking rap beat, but oh my god, it was, oh, that is so true. So true. Some black dude coming in, killing all the Japanese people. And they're playing fucking rap music to that shit. <laughs> I actually forgot. <laughs> to, to the rhythm of rap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they use some. They fucked up there. Machine like soundtrack. Yeah. For Yasuke's massacre time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, this is true. <laughs> this is true. If they title it Assassin Creed Isekai, Isekai meaning fantasy. <laughs> Isekai Assassin fantasy, fantasy. There you go. All yep. problem. All pro <laughs> will be all solved. All problems will be solved. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, Assassin's Creed Fantasy. <laughs> oh, this is a good comment. This is simple, but it's pointing out. What some is it? Racism toward to the recent African descendant people. Uh -oh. This game only sees Yasuke as a black person. True. This is deep. They got that from a trailer? I mean, that is true. I mean, they put the rap music in there. Even though he doesn't even live in the States or anywhere. Yeah. You think that in Japan, you'd have a lot more Japan culture. I think you'd be stuck with, uh, I don't even know what Japan listens to. So I can't say, but obviously they don't listen to rap. So, I mean, you fucked up there, but I mean, yeah, pretty much. I, I could agree to that. This is really yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. I feel Yasuke now. 
Yasuke really had their own struggle. They were kidnapped as a slave in the European and they brought in Japan. Oh. And then Yasuke started living in Japan. He,、mm-hmm. had, he had his own struggle. You know? This game is rude for Yasuke as well. Really. I'm so mad at Ubisoft now. Really. Please. Just to ignore the struggle, yeah. Please see the racism here. Again, this comment is amazing. This comment is saying truth. I think, I, I think people see it, but they're just like. People just see it as woke, you know? They see a black dude, now they're just like woke. They see some ugly bitch, it's like woke. You know, I, I'm gonna be honest, if I see an ugly girl on the screen for a game, I also assume it's just some woke shit. You know, if I see a diff- if I see like a, a different person on the screen, like black, white, Asian, fucking whatever, I- I'm like, it's not woke yet, but there's a potential that it could be. Just for cultural, de- de- check, check, check box. That's all it is. Check. Is they gay? Check. You know what I mean? Just fucking check boxes. That's all, that's all this shit is now. It's just fucking a list of check boxes. It's not even like fucking, uh, There's no creative incentive going into the character to build up some kind of story. Like, nobody cares if you make the character fucking black. But, like, give him a good story, man. That's what makes the character. That's what makes any character. You could take the same character, change his race, and it'd still be a good story. Although, I wouldn't do that to any, like, current games. You know what I mean? Like, if you were to go and make, like, Tomb Raider or Guy all of a sudden, probably not a good idea. But. The story would still be good. It's just that nobody wants to see a dude when it comes to that kind of. I don't actually, I don't even know, maybe. But probably not. I mean, it's, it's, it's for men. It's, games are mostly men. If the girl isn't hot, you've already failed. Simple as that. <laughs> you know? This game only sees Yasuke as a black person.、Mm-hmm. It shows Japanese. There was probably more to what I was saying, but instantly forgot. But my point was it's just a checkbox. They're not actually creative.、Uh, they just take licenses because they can't make anything of their own. And they just change elements to it and then checkbox everything just to send a fucking message. And it's like, I, I don't give a crap about your message. I just want to see a good game. And if it's not good, I ain't going to buy it. Simple as that. It's not really against like, some specific group of people. Yeah. You know, we are mad. We are really mad at Ubisoft. Really, really disregard to Japanese culture and history. I know. That's the main part.、Mm-hmm. Okay, I was laughing and then I was angry, but that comment changed my mood. <laughs> Yasuke had a Japanese name, okay? You are really disrespecting Yasuke. Shame on you, Ubisoft. Is that a Japanese name? But let me introduce my favorite comment. Is saying <laughs> a groundbreaking game where you can experience racism without having to go to France. <laughs> oh, man. France? Man, I love Japanese comments. Okay, so. I don't understand. <laughs> we are not mad about different skin colors,、mm-hmm. being character, okay? Nobody, nobody is. Nope, nobody is. So, let's see. Gameplay. I, I mean, there's, there probably is some people, but they're on but Twitter. Fuck them. Who cares about them? I'm mad about this. That's fine.、Mm-hmm. For example, I really like 80s American the Ninja. The Ninja movies,、yeah. which is very inaccurate, ridiculously fake. <laughs> and most Asian actors and actresses are not Japanese, and they don't even speak Japanese. <laughs> also fair. I、What? enjoy it. I love okay. it. Okay. Especially Ninja 3. There we go. So it, it's, it's worked in the past. Game. An amazing game. Amazing movie. Here we are. Worked in the past. I feel respect. I、okay. feel love. Okay. You know?、Mm-hmm. They are not thinking about like other, maybe you might. A checkbox. Exactly. I put a check, checkbox. Good movie. Loving yeah. Loving Japanese culture. Yeah.、And、they're ridiculously inaccurate. But、mm-hmm. I feel love, and then it's amazing. Okay? Okay. So let's watch Valid. trailer. Okay. They're saying historically accurate or something. Okay. Watch the trailer now. It's correct already. But it doesn't mean I'm mad about this, okay? Inaccurate、mm-hmm. is 
Not that upset, but not Japanese mad. Japanese hooks at that time were okay. very short. Super, super. We're criticizing the horse, okay. So, this is inaccurate. Why the horse is so short? Okay. Why you got short horses for? Probably to get off the horse easier with and all that armor on. This is Tori Gate. His entrance was shrine. Oh. But I'm sure. See, there's no shrine. It's. <laughs> oh, they put an entrance to a shrine, and there's no shrine. It's uh the village. My God. Yeah. And why using sakura and stuff? And there's a castle, meaning Jokamachi. Okay. And they also Sengoku era at that time. Well, Lords in medieval Civil Japan, okay. Civil War era was okay. really chaos. But it looks like a very, very well organized village. Mm -hmm. I do like that tree though. I mean, you I know that it's not accurate, but I, that tree does look beautiful. But it's the only tree in that spot. Like, I don't see any other trees. Maybe way back here in the distance, there might be another one. But like, that's the only specific tree right there. And I'm like, this obviously doesn't fit in. You know, I would prefer it to be taken out and put something else there. But oh wait, there might be more back here. I lied. I lied. Yeah. There might be more in the back. And also, also there is more in the back. There's a whole bunch. Time, what's really brutal? They have katana. They have armors. Because if some war happened, they take it from dead body. I mean, they take it weapons from dead bodies from okay. war zone, and then they self defense themselves. So if samurai, I mean samurai, <laughs> go to this village alone, I don't think he's safe. I think oh. the farmers feel danger and they're gonna kill this guy. Oh, that's not they good. They are kind of chill. That's good. Hey. And why are you wearing the <laughs> armors? You wear on armors only for war. Hey, 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 hey. I mean, hey. Uh, that is true. You watch Milan, you find out real quick. Go back. Why are you bowing? Why, why are they bowing? To see them bowing to a random warrior. <laughs> what kind of history, history accuracy they have? By the way, this- At least, at least they know to bow. <laughs> thrived. That's probably it though. Oh, a dog! Very muscular Shiba Inu. <laughs> they got a freaking mean dog in the game. Of course they do. This is so bizarre. Yeah, so, why is that dog even there? Also, do they have also, that dog in Japan? Japanese at the time was very short. So, short? if you see some Japanese armor at that time, you can see it's very very small. Even I don't. They think were short. Why? Why this guy can wear? Meaning someone made the order made just for him? Assassinate Fujioka. This village is really thrived. More division among the people here. Wait, this game depicts Yasuke as like a justice and the other Japanese samurai at that time as evil or something? <laughs> oh, <crap>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What do you mean corruption? That's a civil civil war era. There's no corruptions. They're fighting every day. Corruption happened after you established something. Yeah, that's this true. This era is not even that point. And it's Sakura season. It's just like a two. Keep or bowing to this random dude. Oh. There's so many people bowing to this guy. Samurai. <laughs> Samurai called Samurai. Samurai. I told you, keep walking. How are you gonna be an assassin with that kind of armor on? Oh, wait, hold up. What? Why? Why? <laughs> this game already sucks. I just, just from right here, I'm like, okay, this game sucks. I can tell just by looking at this one scene. So brutal. And what is this? You don't even have a samurai story. It has a freaking stick. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh. That's a kaki. Okay, it's a persimmon. A what? Persimmon? It's autumn. Why are you keeping mixing spring and autumn? <laughs> are you talking about the fruit? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was an orange. I ain't even gonna lie. So brutal. And also, hey, the interview. Okay, 
This is interview. Okay, so there's an interview in the videogames.si.com. Uh huh. And a director of Assassin's Creed, Shadows, interviewer is saying, it was surprisingly gory. And his response is that, I think it's not an assassin thing. That's true, it's yeah. Japanese thing in our case. Are you. What? So no, it's, 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 with a day to day occurrence in that period and the way most people died in Japan during that time is clean decapitations. Are, are you fucking stupid? Are you dumb? So you. So we didn't want to shy away from it. Hold up, here. Hold up. So we didn't want to shy away from it. Although you can turn off the violence if you want. There's options for it. You can turn off the blood. You can turn off the dismemberment and stuff. So it's more trying to be faithful to the war aspect of Japan at that period. Death was a common thing and decapitation was not a strange sight in Japan. But but you're playing an Assassin's Creed game. Now I can understand if you want to like sneak up behind a dude and fucking cut his head off. That would be dope. But like... Most of the Japanese games, if you look at the very early ones, weren't even that gory. You just walk up and stab. You know, you're not supposed to be making a scene. To an, like, actually, I, I lied. I completely lied. Cutting a dude's head off wouldn't even make sense as, as an assassin. It wouldn't, because you're supposed to be stealthy. You're supposed to be lurking in the shadows and shit like that. You're supposed to be able to... You're basically a ninja. In a way. <clears throat> Early former ninja, something like that. But uh, you you work in the shadows. You're supposed to be stealthy. So you walking up on someone in the street, which is what I do when I don't know how to freaking listen. I played uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, and most of the time I could not figure out how to assassinate people. So I would just run straight through and just kill him just dead just get the fuck out of here and next 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 mi next mission <laughs> get me out of here right but i knew that that wasn't the way to do it but i could do it if i wanted to now is that my favorite game no the first assassin's creed was my favorite game assassin's creed one and two that's pretty much where it ends right there just just it was assassin's creed and then assassin's creed brotherhood but i like that one because there was multiplayer and the multiplayer i thought was pretty freaking interesting Anyway, which is also the reason why I liked. Oh, what's that game called now? Something to do with spies. Anyway, spies. But uh, that's also why I like that game. Because I'm like, this game captures this game from Brotherhood. And I kind of like it. But you just shoot people now because you're a spy. So, whatever. Um. So, having it super gory doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Because you're supposed to be stealthy and in, in one of the games, I forget what one it was, you would take a feather and collect the blood on the feather as like a, uh, as proof that, hey, you, I killed this person, here is the feather kind of thing, right? So, assassin, so you making the game gory when it's not really supposed to be gory in the first place, like you might have some blood somewhere, but like besides the point, it doesn't have to be gory. There's no point in having a gore in, in, Assassin's Creed. It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> doesn't make any sense at all. Death was a day-to-day -day occurrence in that period. Because I've seen it. <laughs> and the way most people died in Japan during that time is clean, clean decapitations. What do you think, guys? And if we I bullshit. about this they call us racist how i think it's bullshit and it's stupid as hell again even even if that is true that statement he said it doesn't capture assassin's creed to what assassin's creed is supposed to be the game already starts off with you on a horse you walking through the streets everybody knows you're there here i am in this full armor here i am and you just walk up and start killing a guard arrogant they are with a fucking stick by the way <laughs> <laughs> it's no summer <laughs> did he just decapitate him no he didn't he did not okay <laughs> Make your peace. stop depict other summer as a bad <laughs> and then this mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> this like a uh... wait. They got their hold up. No, no, no. They got the rap. Eight oh eight or nine oh nine drum machine beats. <laughs> play them. Play it. And a nine oh nine. Dang it. Right. It's a Japanese innovation, but culturally developed by African Americans. Oh. Yasuke is not African Americans. <laughs> Ubisoft. Oh, hey, Ubisoft. Is That's true. He is an African American. Calling Japanese racist. What they're doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. I I mean I know I know that the music is, I mean the music sounds good though. I like it. Like a DJ. But should it should it be in a movie and uh, not a movie in a game based on Japanese culture? No, <laughs> no. No, I think of, I want like some Mulan kind of style music. You know what I mean? I can't play it because I'll get keep copyright. But <sighs> give me some Mulan style. <laughs> this guy is the bad guy. <laughs> He's the bad guy. Why are you talking about corruption then? Just randomly come to the village and started killing other samurais. I was going to hand me starting. All right. Okay, let's see the Kunoichi. Oh, here we go. Female Action. ninja. Female ninja, actual assassin. Okay. This is nice. I agree. You know, it's Assassin's Creed. As a Go back. I'm sure it's good. But mm. I really think it's time to think about like a real diversity. What they're doing is hypocritical. You don't need to think you don't need to think about diversity at all. Diversity happens naturally. The problem is that America is mostly white people. It's just, it is what it is. I don't know about now. I mean, now we're getting a whole bunch of freaking, I say we as if I live there. I don't live there. But now they're getting a whole bunch of fucking people coming in across the border. Who the hell knows what it is now? But it's mostly white dominant. Okay. So it's, it can still happen naturally and you can still kind of put in your own diversity like let's just say hey we got like six white dudes here let's just put in one black here and one person here good enough you know if they're in the back who cares if it's the main character who cares nobody actually cares about who the character is it's about the story behind the character that you're trying to develop that's what's most important diversity because they don't care asian people they don't care japanese no they clearly don't diversity yeah and they are calling japanese racist ridiculous mm -hmm. do i need to watch all i just wanted to watch the gameplay for for that but what's so that this? you can breathe oh okay. i wanted to do this when i was kids <laughs> that's fair so did i i wanted to be ninja I wanna be ninja. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pretty chill about the idea of culture appropriation. Appropriation. Uh huh. Because I believe. I want to see more. Of, I want to see more of this character because I want to see what the actual assassin's gonna be. I wanna. You know. You that's only gonna buy it. I don't care. I wanna know. Hundred percent Japanese. I have a Japanese yeah. passport. I'm living in the U.S. now. You got a cowboy hat. A cowboy hat. I respect the cowboy culture. Yeah. You know, I eat spaghetti. I eat baguette. <laughs> Ooh. I wear jeans. Do you eat a croissant? That's the real question. But what you are doing, Ubi. Do you eat what, the croissant? What they're doing is raping their other culture. So. Okay. I really think Ubisoft should cancel this game because it's the racist and then their respond. They don't listen to Japanese voice. They will. They. <laughs> no, they don't. I, I guarantee you, if they made like an assassins game somehow based in Mexico, they would do the same shit. Blind. And then just because the Mexicans wouldn't agree with them, they would call them racist too. And this, I mean, they live in a different country and free speech, so they're they're literally using that to their advantage. I would say, you know, it, it's it's they can say whatever the fuck they want with no pre repercussions because free speech. The best thing you can do if you. You know, and the best thing that the Japanese culture could do is to just simply don't buy the game. You know, if you d just don't support it, that's all the, uh, you can do. Money talks when it comes and it gets released into Japan. Just say, hey, 
we're not buying this game because you're racist. You're putting inaccurate shit. We're pointing out to you that it's inaccurate, and you're like, meh, you're racist. Shut up. You know, just don't buy the game. That's the best thing to do. I, I'm not going to buy this game regardless because I don't like the Assassin's Creed. The last Assassin's Creed that I played was... Uh, hold up, I got to check. I got to check. I think I bought it, and I was going to play it. Syndicate. That was the last one that I played. I have Unity. That game sucked, but I beat it anyway. And I have a I have Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which I haven't I have it on Steam, but I haven't played it yet. But I played it on console a, a long time ago. And I, I I enjoyed Syndicate more than Unity, but that was the last game I played. I was like, after this, I'm done. The only thing the only reason why I wanted to play it was because the DLC had Jack the Ripper. So I was like, okay, well let me play the main story and see if this story ties into jack the ripper at some point it, it didn't you could just play the jack the ripper by itself it, it is what it is who cares but it's still i still enjoyed it. i enjoyed the jack the ripper dlc and i still enjoyed the main game as it was okay is it the best one no is it enjoyable i i would say yes to me it was or it's like almost psychopaths to me <laughs> or it's like other comments but just don't buy it that's the best thing it's to do Assassin's Creed Fantasy. Or do that, sure. Or, or, make or? Assassin's Creed setting, let's say, French Revolution, and the <laughs> main character is Japanese. Wait a minute. A Japanese girl. Okay? How about mm -hmm. Japanese 90s gal girl? <laughs> <laughs> we will, I mean, I forgive you. I don't know other Japanese, <laughs> but me, personally, I can forgive. And uh, I think I'll why would you want to forgive? They they won't even. Why would you forgive somebody who won't even apologize to you? And when you point out their flaws, they're like, "Hey, fuck you." Why would you want to forgive that? You are game. But it's just because they're super nice. Like that's all it is. They're just super nice people. <laughs> goodbye, Ubisoft. You lost customer. Mm -hmm. I really believe diversity equality, but diversity equality will happen when we respect. Everyone. If yeah, it ha naturally. It will just happen naturally. We believe in true meaning. You don't need a checkbox. Equality. Please don't buy this game. Mm -hmm. I put a link for. People, I wasn't gonna buy it anyway. Like aiming, canceling, Assassin's Creed Shadow, in Japan. Really, it's. I really can't believe this is happening. But this is happening. We need to fight. I play other non-Japanese made horror games. Yeah, just. But uh... Don't get mad. But this. It's insane. And don't buy it. That's the best thing to do. Just don't Japanese buy it. Or even Asian. I really think we need to raise the voice. Mm -hmm. No matter where you live. I'm uh, currently living in the US. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot of racism toward to Asian. Likely, it never happened to me. But living in New York City, I see a lot of violence toward yeah. Asian people. And... Yeah, if you if if you lived there during that COVID era, oh my God, some shit, some shit went down there. I don't know what the fuck that People was. People don't talk about it, and I really don't understand why. When Black Lives Matter protest happening during mm -hmm. the pandemic, everyone around me that was that was some <sighs> about that kind of stuff and protesting and defund police and the kind of stuff on Instagram stories and they're talking about it. Mm -hmm. But when Asian are targeted. And that's happening almost every day. No yep. one was talking about it. Nobody was. That's true. That this man's right. They don't talk about it. We need to talk about it. Mm -hmm. We need to fight back. Really. Literally. That's because everything in America now has like a political reason to be done. For example, the gay pride stuff, political shit. They want your vote. Uh, the Black Lives Matter political shit. That person, all that money that, that she got, that they got. I think it's a trio of three lesbians, I'm pretty sure. Three black lesbians. Uh, the money that they got, they spent it on, like, I think two or three mansions it was. They spent it on houses. That's all I know. But it, it didn't go to any... It didn't help the Black Lives movement at all. Like, you go to any place, and it's still a shithole. They didn't put that money where people thought it was going to go. They spent it on themselves and just moved i i could actually look this up right now i'm almost positive they even went and moved to a uh a uh an all white fucking area mostly white people 
Uh, let's see. She bought a six million dollar house. She bought a six million dollar house. This was April twenty uh twenty twenty two. According to this article, the house transferred ownership of the house to an LLC established in Delaware by the law firm Perkins Coy. The maneuver ensured that the ultimate identity of the property's new owner was not disclosed to the public. So I mean, they had a lot of backlash. They did that. Now they live. Now they live in it. Well, hold up. They live in it. Um. I read it somewhere. Here we go. After the transfer, BLM leaders began using the house in various ways, including as a set for recording videos and staying overnight when they didn't feel safe at their own homes. So basically, they just bought the house and they're trying not to make it seem like they bought the house. They 100% bought the house. They were going to move into the house and everybody was like, hey, what the fuck? You're not putting that money towards what we're donating it for. Everything I, I I'm even pretty sure that she even uh, said that BLM was a uh, a radical movement. Uh, I could have swore someone said it was. There was like a whole video around it. I, I you think I'd save these or like like these videos, but I don't. But someone said that it was used to radicalize. Damn it. I can't. I'm not going to. I don't want to sit here and look for hours and find it. I'm not going to sit here for hours and try to find it. But there you go. That I know for sure because I saw it. The things that I'm not aware of, but I could have swore happened. Were she. She bought a house. I don't know if it was that house that where it was located in a mostly white neighborhood. She didn't put any of that money that was donated at the time into any um black neighborhoods and she just spent it on herself and th them three whatever else and then uh some other video dropped later about how blm was used to radicalize people and it was like admitted by someone who was part of it i just can't find it <laughs> of course like i said i should probably start liking these videos but if if you look around enough you should find it anyway let's go back to the video like that because what I just explained about this video game, it's really happening. And if people don't mm -hmm. know, that's oh, ridiculous. Wait. So if you agree with me, please raise your voice and let's, let's, let's just do. <laughs> mm -hmm. the, the best thing to do, hold up. I made this video. You're going to let it play. I signed up petition and I'm going to sign We demand the cancellation. Of this. Okay. this is ridiculous. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. Okay. Bye. Three times love. The best thing to do in this situation, it doesn't matter if you try to boycott. It doesn't matter if you try to sign petitions and say, hey, look at this. They're going to release their game. The best thing for you to do is to simply just not buy the game. If you don't agree with what the devs are doing and Ubisoft is the fucking woke as shit. Okay, every game that they've released is some woke bullshit. Anyway, if you don't like the game, how they're making the game, or what they're putting behind the game, the best thing to do is to just simply not buy the game. I'm not even going to say look up videos. What the fuck is going on here? I'm not even going to say look up videos as to what the gameplay is like. If you don't agree with the devs on something, just simply don't buy that game. Don't watch videos about the game. Don't engage at all with the game because the more you try to engage with it, the more likely you're probably going to buy it. So just don't, don't buy it. Don't click on videos about it. Leave it alone, you know? Simple as that. Or videos that show, that showcase gameplay at least, you know? Um, talking about it is one thing, but showcasing whatever. Anyway, that was an interesting video. Uh, it's crazy how these uh woke people are talking about diversity talking about inclusions but they're using words like latin x trying to change the whole what spanish is it, i think it's spanish the spanish language because it has male and female only 
And they're like, nah, let's just change that shit, even though we're not even in that country. Okay. <laughs> now we're going into games where they're trying to change history. They're trying to apply history and then say, let's just take this and just shift it. Now it's fake, fake history. Here we go. Plop. And it's not respective at all to the culture that it should be aimed towards, you know? Now they're just putting, like, if, if it's... <sighs> How can you have fake history? <laughs> what? <laughs> how can you have fake history? It either happened or it didn't happen. That's just how it is. Anyway. I think that if you're a, a company that starts to piss off a whole country. Like Japan. And then say, hey, you're racist. There's some, there's some shit that got to get looked into for sure. Let's read some of the comments. Um, Ubisoft's idea of race is only black and white. Such a great shame that the easiest hit to make a badass ninja game is reduced to Western view and recollection of history. It's not even real history. It's racist against the Japanese for the cherry picking of race and historical fiction. Yeah, historical fiction. That's what they call it. So it's just a stupid. Anyway. And also racist against black people for shoving their desire to have a black protagonist into a non-black centered video game. It's like we're all lumped together in the not white, not European box. Tell us to play nice with each other and they call it a day. I have not spent a penny on Ubisoft since Brotherhood and it will stay that way. That's good. That's how you do it right there. Exactly how you do it. Just don't spend your money on it. I'm uh. In America, I don't know what that is. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. I'm going to fuck it up. What bothers me too is that video game media and journalists in the West really hated Ghost of Tsushima. Saying that it was racist because white Westerners made a Japanese game. And that it was historically inaccurate due to... Anac anachronisms? Anachronisms. I don't know what the fuck. That's, a, that's the first time I ever saw that word. Yet when Assassin's Creed Shadows trailer came out, those same video game journalists praise it for being diverse. And that it's large historical inaccuracies aren't a big deal. It's extremely hypocritical. That's true. That's true. Even when they talk about uh, Resident Evil 5 and how it's racist to African Americans because it portrays them as violent people. And there's a white guy going over there shooting them all. And it's like they're fucking zombies, bro. They're they're zombies. Like, what do you mean? They're not people anymore. They are zombies. They were infected from the Ouroboros. And then the same people that wrote that article, not only about the same person, but the same company, IGN, that wrote that article, also gave that game. When it first came out, they were talking about the remaster. But when it first came out, they gave it a 9 out of 10, a 10 out of 10. They said the game was awesome. It was perfect. Now all of a sudden, because we're pushing this fucking diversity shit around, all of a sudden now it's a, if they remaster it, it's gonna be a fucking problem. Like shut the fuck up. <laughs> like what? Shut your dumb ass up, IGN. You fucking morons. Anyway, I'm still mad about that, as you can see. I'm from China, full blood, and adopted into America. I'm one hundred thousand, ten thousand. I don't know. There's a lot of zeros there. With Japan on this, they had one job. Just one. But nope. I hope the game gets cancelled and shut down. Keep voting with your wallets. Exactly. Vote with your wallets. Boycotting and shit doesn't work. Assassin's Creed 1. Set during the Crusades, you play as an Arab. Assassin's Creed 2. Set in Italy, you play as an Italian. Assassin's Creed 3. Set during the American Revolution War, you play as a native. Assassin's Creed 4. Set during the Golden Era of Piracy, you play as a European man since most pirates were European. Assassin's Creed Unity. Assassin's Creed Unity sucks. Set during the set during the French Revolution, you play as a French man. Assassin's Creed Syndicate set in London, you play as an English man or a woman. Well, and woman, you play as both. Assassin's Creed Chronicles. China plays a Chinese woman. India plays an Indian woman. Russia plays play as a Russian. Is what I should say. Assassin's Creed Origins, set in Egypt, play as two Egyptians. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, set in ancient Greece, play as two Spartans. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, set during the Viking expansion, play as a Viking. Assassin's Creed Shadow, set in Japan. You know, the place where it would make sense to have assassins. Yeah, Japan. 
That place where ninjas come from. Well, you only get to play as a black guy who carried knob, knob, knob. I'm just going to say knob. Holy shit. Swords. And if you get mad at that, you are racist, even if you are Japanese. We're just going to end it there. <laughs> We're going to... Perf excellent comment. Like the like the comment. I'm liking that shit. What does the word apply say? Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed in general. Locals. Assassin's Creed in Shadows. I don't know what a gay a gayian all of a sudden. And the dude's a gay too, apparently. This is this they put they put him as black and then they're like, hey, this person's gay too. Like, okay. How is his backstory though? Like, I don't give a shit. What's the backstory behind the character? Accurate. I'm gonna like the video. I didn't even like the video. Like the video. I'm gonna subscribe to this dude. He might not cover the topics that I that I think we're gonna t cover, but uh, I'm gonna watch it anyway. Why not? We're gonna try and keep up with what this is, what what's going on behind the story, and uh, see what happens with the thoughts of the of uh, the Japanese. All right. So they're mad. Ubisoft once again putting in their own shit. And then when it's historically inaccurate, they give a big old fuck you and they tell them that they're racist. That's woke people for you right there in a nutshell. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one that I do. Take care and bye-bye. I got nightmares in my head. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature. And it haunts me somewhere much deeper. I've been feeling weird. I can't seem to focus good enough. Nothing's really clear. Sometimes it could be a little.